America, land of the free, home of the brave, a beacon of hope and opportunity for all who seek a better life. Today, we stand at a crossroads, a pivotal moment in our history. Our nation, once united, feels divided, torn by differing beliefs and ideologies. Anxiety casts a shadow over our land, creating uncertainty and fear. In these uncertain times, we turn to faith for guidance and solace, seeking comfort in our shared values. The upcoming presidential debate is not just a political event. It is a moment of profound significance. It is a spiritual moment, a time for deep reflection and contemplation. Millions will watch, their hearts heavy with questions and hopes for the future. Who will lead us out of this wilderness, guiding us towards unity and prosperity? Who will heal our divisions, bringing us together as one nation? Who will stand as a light in the darkness, offering hope and direction? The choices we make today will echo through generations, shaping the future of our children and grandchildren. As we prepare to witness this pivotal debate, let us pray for wisdom, discernment, and the courage to choose leaders who reflect our deepest values and aspirations for a better tomorrow. The Bible reminds us, by their fruits you shall know them, Matthew 7:16. We must examine the fruits of the candidates' lives, their words, their actions, their policies. Do they align with the teachings of Christ? President Biden speaks of unity, compassion, and caring for the vulnerable. His policies reflect a commitment to social justice and environmental stewardship. Former President Trump speaks of strength, faith, and traditional values. His policies reflect a focus on economic prosperity and national security. Both men claim to uphold the values of faith, family, and freedom. But how do their words translate into action? President Biden calls for healing. He speaks of bridging divides. His policies often prioritize the needs of the marginalized, health care for all, support for the poor and struggling. These echo the gospel's call to care for the least of these. Yet, some question his stance on issues like abortion and religious liberty. They see a disconnect between his words and his actions. Does he truly champion the sanctity of life? Does he defend the rights of people of faith? These questions weigh heavily on the hearts of many believers. Section 4. Trump, Defender of Faith and Freedom Former President Trump speaks boldly about his faith. He appoints conservative judges. He champions religious freedom. His supporters see him as a defender of traditional values, a bulwark against secularism. However, his critics point to his personal behavior and rhetoric. They question his humility, his compassion, and his willingness to forgive. They see a disconnect between his words and the example of Christ. The Bible calls us to love our enemies, to show grace and mercy. Does former President Trump embody these virtues? Section 5. Leadership on the Mount Jesus taught, Blessed are the peacemakers, Matthew 5, 9. His words resonate through the ages, reminding us of the true essence of leadership. True leadership requires more than just strength. It is about guiding with compassion and understanding. It demands humility, empathy, and a willingness to serve. Leaders must put the needs of others before their own. It requires listening to those with whom we disagree, finding common ground, and building bridges instead of walls. This is the foundation of a united community. Both President Biden and former President Trump have shown moments of strength and moments of weakness. Their leadership styles offer lessons for us all. They have both made mistakes. These errors are part of their human journey. They have both disappointed some of their followers. Disappointment is inevitable in leadership. As we assess their leadership, we must ask ourselves, who demonstrates the qualities of a servant leader? Who truly serves the people? Who embodies the spirit of Christ? Who leads with love, compassion, and selflessness? Section 6. Choosing Our Shepherds The upcoming debate is not just about politics. It transcends the usual partisan lines and delves into the very essence of our collective identity. It is about the soul of our nation the core values that bind us together. It is about who we are as a people, our shared dreams and aspirations. What do we stand for? What principles do we hold dear? What kind of future do we want to build for our children and grandchildren? As people of faith, 
we have a responsibility to engage in the political process, to be the moral compass, to pray for our leaders, to hold them accountable, to vote our conscience guided by our faith and values. Let us approach this election with hearts of prayer, seeking divine guidance. May we seek wisdom, discernment, and the courage to choose leaders who will guide us with justice, compassion, and humility. Leaders who will uphold the dignity of every individual. The future of our nation, under God, may depend on it. Let us not take this responsibility lightly.